Hi guys, I'm Miss Keegan and I just wanted to show you some things on Canvas. I know many of you are very new to it, so I just wanted to make a little video to guide you along to make it just a little bit easier on what to do. Once you know what you're doing, it's not that going to be that hard and not that difficult. So it just takes some time and some training, just like lifelong learners. That's what we got to do. So I'm going to go ahead with the screen. So that way you guys can go ahead and see what Canvas looks like. Right now I am logged on as a student. So this is what you and your kiddos are going to see. Over here on the side you have your home, your announcements, modules, grades, badges, Google Drive. You can click any one of those things and it'll take you where you want to go. Or you could just click on the main screens over here. So I'm going to go ahead and guide you along. Now the first thing as you can see is recent announcements. So when you log on to recent announcements will be right on top. And all you have to do is click to see the announcements. And this is going to be like classroom newsletters, what's happening in the school, things like important information, things like that. So if you just go ahead and click on it, it will go ahead and take you there. All you need to do is read what's inside. And then down here on the bottom, I will have different attachments and things like that. So if you see an attachment, go ahead and click on it. And once it clicks and it loads, go ahead and open up your attachment. And on this one, with her that it's to meet me so you guys get to learn little things about me and yes that is me when I was five years old so me now and five years old so <laughs> so the kids can have some fun and you guys get to learn more about what who I am and what I do so I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my canvas page and then if you go ahead and on the here we go uh, click on the right one for you I'm sorry so I'm gonna go ahead and click on home again let me go back to my student view I'm sorry so now we're on a student view so I'm back at home if you click on home it'll just always take you back to this page right here so now you can go ahead and see my interactive classroom so you can have fun clicking on this interactive classroom and then if you scroll down there's a little bit more about what's going on and some extra links so everything that's down here is right up here here as well so this is just a more a little kid friendly and a little bit user friendly because all you have to do is click and get to those places so once you log on to canvas and you see uh, this little fun little screen notice that my um, hand will turn my little mouse will turn into something different on the buttons so if you see a little handprint you can click on any of those things and it's an interactive thing to go see so if you click on I ready it will take you to iReady. So you're gonna be able to get um, log on to iReady, so will the kiddos, but do not worry about what's here in the middle. You don't need any of that. The kids only have to click on this little monster right here. I will later on, once we have everybody's information and log on information, um, all you have to do is enter in the class number, and then it's gonna ask you to find the kid's name. You find their name, click on it, and then you're gonna enter in a picture code. I will give you all that information to you guys once we have it so that's how you can click on I ready the next thing that you're going to be able to do on this is if you notice right here this little button right here this little penguin this is Gigi he does ST math and that's where the kids have a lot of fun so if you click on that it will take you to ST math and all the kids have to do is click on Gigi and we will get them all set up on that. So once they are, all they have to do is click on him and put in their passwords and start working on ST Math. It's so simple. Except on the passwords on ST Math, they are very long and the kids do memorize them, believe it or not. And it's just a fun little picture code. Gigi teaches them how to use all that stuff. So do not worry, Gigi handles everything. And then over here on Nearpod, we're gonna be using this for some of our lessons and assignments and make little games and activities for the kiddos to play. Um, once we have that all set up, you'll be able to use it. So when you click on Nearpod, what it's going to do is just ask you for a class code and I will show you where you guys can get those class codes so once you have the class code and you type in and join it'll ask you for your email and we'll sh I'll show you how to do all that in just a little bit okay and then if you click down here on me it will actually take you to my YouTube channel I have previous lessons from last year up here and uploaded so I'm not gonna take those off so you can still watch any of those lessons if you want just for fun for the time being but um also 
but all the worksheets and things right there, you guys don't have those quite yet. So, but at the beginning of the year this year, I'm gonna still be using YouTube. I will send you the YouTube links on the lesson plans to be able to watch the certain videos I want you to watch. But if you subscribe to the, my channel, you can still get all those videos from either the lessons or just from this main page. So it's up to you on how you want to do that. So now I went back here. So this button down here pretty soon will be a button for you guys and it will show you how to upload um, files when I use Google Slides for activities. Some of the activities will be like a drag and um, paste kind of thing. So if you have it as a hard copy, awesome. You can do it that way or you can do it through a Google Slide and I'll show you how to do all that and give you the links. So don't worry. This little button up here pretty soon, um, this canvas spot right here will be a button pretty soon and you'll be able to click on it and you will get this video again. So this video will always be available, available available to you so if you need to do anything you're able to do so okay and then if you go right down and um, before we go to our lessons you can go ahead and click on these two videos here every morning we're gonna have some songs and videos to watch and listen to so every day in class in the morning the first thing that we do before we get started after saying hello to everybody and just kind of getting you getting in the flow we actually sing and dance to these two songs and it's counting to 100 and it's a sing it, sign it, and say it. So the kids get to learn their alphabet, their letters, their sounds, not only by saying them, but also by sign language. And then over here, they get to get fit counting to 100 because being able to count to 100 is a kindergarten standard. And this is the best way to do it is just getting exercise and moving. So let the kids get up, get them moving because it will help their brains. And hey, why not? You guys can do it along with them if you want. If you click on lessons, Lessons will take you to what's going on. As you can see, it says home study week one and it says the date. So you, and everything, um, nothing will be posted until you guys are supposed to see it. So don't worry. You're only going to have to do what you see. So right here we have the letter game match. So here's two activities that I already have uploaded and I will upload um, other things as well as we get going. So, so all you have to do is click on that. And as you can see, it says, it tells you the directions, click on the map game so you can go ahead and click here and it should take you to Nearpod and um, if you already have your um, just type in your email and on Nearpod and you're gonna click on join session I typed in mine and they get to actually do a mini activity so on this activity they actually have to match letters and sounds so like L they would have to find L and find the lion click and match and there you go you got it right but if you don't have it right it'll have you it'll tell you no and then you need to keep trying again and then they can click on the slides on the side and just keep playing and there's oh there's more letters and it just tells you the directions on what to do and so that is on Nearpod and then um, also, if you clicked on Nearpod, this is the little activation code right here. So if you uh, copy and paste, so control C, and then remember on the back of our screen where it said um, Nearpod and you clicked on Nearpod and it told you to go put in the code. So control V will put in the code for you and you should be able to join the game. It might ask you for your email, which it did. It, Ask me for my email and I just hit join session and there you go it did the same thing so you can get onto Nearpod two different ways so like I said don't worry you will always get those codes from me when I have those kinds of lessons so if you click back on your lessons and there's the letter game match and then there's also counting monkey this is just an example counting monkeys one through five so you just go ahead and click and then you go ahead and click on the link and all down here is all the information on what to do but i'm also gonna have you um do it as um as a video i'm gonna do it as a video for you as well so that way you know how to upload and see um the how to use that current information so some of the things you are gonna have to do on your own and some of it you're gonna have to submit an assignment so i'll have another video for that in just a little bit but you can also click on grades and then once you submit things, it'll start showing grades. And as you can see right here, 
It tells you how many points right now, you know, like the get letter game match. This is either complete or incomplete. You either do it or you don't do it. So, and it does not count towards your final grade. So that's why it's out of zero. And then right here it says, you know, three points. So once you submit an activity like the worksheet like this, you will be able to see how many points I give you. There's the zero, one, two, or three. And four is above mastery. So three is mastery. Two is, hey, we're getting there, we're working hard, and twos are still good, so don't worry about that. A one is like, uh-oh, there's not a whole lot going on. And I do not give zeros, but if you don't have anything there, you know you're missing that grade and that work needs to be done. So you'll be able to check that out. So if you go ahead and click back on Home, it'll take you back to this page, and then it'll change every week. And I'll do different little things, but the lessons, like I said, the easiest spot is just to click on here and anything you need are on these buttons. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me, give me a heads up on Remind. Uh, I will be ha more than happy to help out the best that I can. So I hope this helps you guys with your first little introduction towards Canvas and it makes your mind a little bit more at ease on what is going to happen. Have a great day, guys. I will talk to you later.